Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do kind of a little simple little video. Um, just showing you guys my not so extensive makeup collection. So I guess let's just get started. Right here is my little, don't mind my nails. I can't find nail polish remover and they look terrible. So let's just, let's just not look at them. So it's my makeup bag. Um, I got this for Christmas from um, a Secret Santa present at work. So I guess we can start with like foundation and like my base makeup. Actually, I'm just gonna pull all of that out. To start, my foundation is the Maybelline. There's a hair on it. I don't know if that's my hair or not. The Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. This is in number 235 Pure Beige. I used to use like the Kat Von D foundation, which when I still bought Kat Von D makeup, it was amazing. But if I could find something that's just as good as that, maybe in a cheaper price point or around that price point, that is not Kat Von D, that'd be great. So next, I just have what I set my makeup with. This is by Hard Candy. Um, it's their Translucent Loose Powder Sheer Envy. This is what it looks like. I like it more than I think I was using before Elf's Translucent Powder. Theirs is really good, but I like this a little bit better. So I think it's around the same price, too. I recommend it if you guys are looking for a drugstore loose powder. Next, I'm going to show you guys my, I guess, bronzers, contour powders. This one is by Milani. Obviously, I've had it a while. <laughs> and she is. It's number one, bronze glow. This is what it looks like. It used to have this, like, sun design on it still kind of see it but usually what I do when I use this is swirl my brush in it or if I'm not wanting anything too heavy I use this or if I want something a little bit darker I use that but this is actually really really good I probably should buy a new one because I've had it for more than 36 months this one is not a drugstore brand but this one was gifted to me um, I'll probably never buy another one of it not because it's bad, it's actually really, really good. It is the Too Faced Chocolate. Sorry. Just Chocolate Soleil? 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 Don't know how to say that. A medium deep matte bronzer. So that's what it looks like. It still smells like chocolate. I just personally will probably never buy this again. Not because it's a bad product, because it's a good product. But I have my reasons, so there's that. Alright, so for like highlighters, uh, I have this one by Artist Couture. It is called Illuminati. It is their diamond glow powder. I actually want to open this so you can, so you can see. Man, my nails look terrible. Let's just not show that one. <laughs> That's what that looks like. I don't know if you guys, my phone will focus but oh my lantas it's so pretty I got this when I was still getting like boxy charms super pretty I'm not wearing it right now I'm wearing my other highlighter but I really like it I think it's nice the curl lamp 2 this is by Too Faced this was also gifted to me by my girlfriend's little sister it is the Too Faced Love Light I guess it's called, oh, it's a Prismic Highlighter um, in Blinded, Blinded by the Light. It's pretty. It's not like insane I'm wearing it, but it's, I mean, it's pretty. I think it's prettier in the sun. I actually put this on my friend's daughter um, earlier because they were going to a wedding. I did her makeup and this actually, I personally, I think looks better over just bare skin. But if you're one of those girls or guys that like wears, does not wear foundation but wears makeup, and you just want like a little like, you know, little something, something, I think this looks better over just skin than it does over any 
any like foundation or powder or anything that I've seen. I've even tried it over just like foundation, like without setting it. And it it doesn't look like weird, it just I don't know, I don't know how to like describe it. It just doesn't look as like excuse me, like melted to the skin if that makes sense. The next thing I have are my two mascaras. This one is by Ulta Beauty, it's their Maximum Lash Mascara. I'll show you what the one looks like. I actually really, really, really like this one. Really, really good. It's their Defining and Lengthening Mascara. I like it. Oh, and the color Jet Black. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. I like this a lot, actually. It was literally a dollar. Um, but I was like out of mascara and just needed some really quick. And this is the wand. It's good, it gets the job done. Dark and your lashes doesn't do anything insane, but it, it gets the job done. So this is the liquid eyeliner that I am currently at this very moment using. It's by Broadway Colors. I think this is literally a dollar. But it's it's not bad for a dollar. Has sort of like a felt tip. These loose eyeshadows that I have, these were also gifted to me <laughs> by my girlfriend's little sister. Um, the, these are by the brand, I think it's called Nomad. That's the brand. Oh, this is a highlight. I thought this was a little tiny eyeshadow. It's a highlight powder. That's cute. I mean, I, I've used it as a highlight because it's um, sort of this really pretty, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a really pretty like champagne color. It's the Illuminated Highlighting Powder in Stockholm. But this one's the eyeshadow, which is so pretty. Like, it's so shimmery, but it doesn't like just, you know, there's no loose glitter or anything. It sticks really, really well. I believe it's called Marrakesh. So let's just get into like my lip products. I don't have a lot, I had more. But I've since thrown some stuff out. This one we'll talk about in a minute. Tube mm -hmm. lipstick my girlfriend actually got for me. Um, she actually bought it thinking it would be this color. Didn't realize it would be this color. Which I don't. I mean I don't mind. I think it's a super pretty color. Um, I don't wear it very often. I wear it every once in a while. By CoverGirl. Um, in tantalized titular number 335 one this lip gloss that I have right here is not the best but this was the color I was looking for and I needed to find it um, and I just I tried this because it was a dollar and I just wanted to try it and it's not bad for a dollar I mean things could be worse that's the color my sister used to wear this lip gloss that was this color and I cannot for the life of me find it anywhere. This is the Broadway Colors Elixir Lip Gloss in Bell Number no. 5 Glamour. All right, so the next ones that I have you guys have seen before, um, they are my two Liquid Cat Suits by Wet n Wild in Rebel Rose and Missy and Fierce. I love these, I'm wearing Rebel Rose. So that's it for like my lips and stuff. This I'm keeping in my collection purely because it was the first lipstick I ever bought myself. It's by Kat Von D. Obviously it has her original packaging um, for like Monogram. Um, and you see I used it down to last bit. I wonder if it would swatch. Ugh. Ugh. It has that like icky lipstick smell that underage red and if I could find a dupe for this if any of you guys know a dupe for underage red this is a little to me now because even like Missy and Fierce is just a little darker than this and this is such a pretty color and I keep it because it was the first lipstick I ever bought I have so many memories attached to this particular lipstick so I keep it you know especially because it was her original packaging even though I won't ever buy her stuff again it's still a really cool little, little piece of my history. Getting to sort of like my little eyeshadow colors. I don't have many. Like I said, the one that I am missing is the one that I use all the time. Um, it's kind of old. Don't 
fun for me. <laughs> um, I really shouldn't still be using it, but um, it's Kat Von D's Monarch Monarch palette. I love it. It's a really good palette. I still use the like chocolate brown eyeshadow out of there for my eyebrows, and I have since like three years now. Oh my god, I've had that palette for three years. <gasps> I've had it for four years. I got it in 2015. I really need to go. Okay. Alright, so the other eyeshadow palettes that I have, um, this one was gifted to me by my girlfriend's little sister. I actually really, really love this. It is Youth Pure Be Your Selfie. I think she got it in an Ipsy box. Ipsy bag, not Ipsy box. This, these are the colors. It's so pretty. I love these colors. These are the kind of colors that I tend to wear more on an everyday basis, um, because I kind of have like a regular job, and I can't really wear like super wild eyeshadow there. So I have a lot of neutral palettes. Was given to me by my mama on my 23rd birthday. It was actually hers, but she didn't much like it, so she gave, it, she gave it to me, and I have gotten some serious use out of it. And I think the only shade that I don't like out of here is W.O.S. Maybelline The Nudes palette. Simple, lots of browns, blacks, gray, like, muted colors, because it's just what I tend to wear. Um, and this one I got in a boxy charm. I think this was the first boxy charm box that I got. And this is by Real Her. Real Her. Um, be your own kind of beauty. But these are so nice. This is more of my like going out at night. Like I don't go clubbing or anything. But like if I go out, this is what I'm gonna use. So. <laughs> That was my very simple, very small makeup collection. Um, I'm planning on adding to it sometime soon, hopefully. I really want to get a Jeffree Star palette. I'm dying to have something with some color. I used to have a lot of colorful eyeshadows, you know, in my little, like, emo scene phase. Uh, but I would love to start playing with colorful makeup again, because I just, I mean, these are literally four palettes with neutral colors. <laughs> I used to wear a lot of blue eyeshadow um, when I was wearing colorful makeup. I would do like a neutral color and then I would do like blue on the other side and that was like a, that was something Kat Von D was doing and I loved her at the time so I was doing it too. Maybe in one video I'll just like go through my scene and emo phase because I mean I don't really <laughs> dress like that anymore. Though I do still have a lot of like my band tees, like I wear a lot of my black felt brides. I say a lot, like I have a lot left. I have one left that I that I still want to wear. Others that like just ripped to shreds. Um, and then I have my original one, which I wore to my first and last warp tour. Maybe I'll take you guys to like a tour of like my emo scene phase, and we'll look at like old videos where guys thank you so much for watching I hope that this video was entertaining at least even though I feel like my makeup collection is so boring but it's you know I keep it down to things that I use all the time or that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of I don't really have a lot of things that I'm only gonna use once or twice um, aside from maybe like liquid eyeliner just because sometimes I just can't be bothered um, get this video a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you.